Like a jar of pickles, kind of sour, kind of sweet, soaked in brine. No sandwich to pair with, lower than a side dish, no deep fry that I can call mine. My heart is like a jar of capers, a ball of salt that won't go by itself. Pasta to compliment, contemplating time spent. Svetlana, the firefly in the room. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have such an exciting video. Yes, I'm saying this again, but actually this time I'm not even ever exaggerating what a difficult word but anyway today i want to share a houseplant rescue story and it's been a while on my channel since last time i rescued a plant a house plant and this one isn't my rescue this is actually my mom's and it's actually such a cool plant i cannot wait to share it with you it's a little mystery package over here right now so long story short for those who are a little bit newer on my channel I love to rescue houseplants from the streets. Here in Lithuania it's pretty common to you know get rid of the plants and not just throw them away but just leave them outside next to the garbage containers and you know just around the city for people to take the plant home and rehome it and you know grow it and today i will have a video pretty close to that but this specific plant wasn't thrown away into the garbage container or anywhere around it it was actually posted on a facebook group called house plants for free so my mom is in this facebook group that some people that get tired of some kind of plants they just want to get rid of it and do not want to just you know throw them away they post these plants into this group and in that way other people can rehome it and that's exactly what happened with this package secret package <laughs> so my mom found a post and she was like oh my gosh you are getting rid of this plant just give it to me in in exchange i think of chocolate or something and this is how this plant ended up in my home my mom bring it yesterday to my home and said do something about it because the previous owner said that it just keeps on throwing the leaves off it and it doesn't look as hot as it was before and i'll try to change that and work together with you on it because it's not in the pot it just you know freely laying naked with naked roots so i want to pot it up today and maybe prune it a little bit to make it look a little bit more as a bonsai and since we are already getting into it so this is actually a succulent commonly known as elephant bush fun fact it is eaten in south africa by elephants but also tortoises and goats love this plant as well i wonder what the taste is of it but not gonna taste it <laughs> but i heard that it has a little bit of sour taste which is fun right but anyway so this is elephant bush scientific name of it is particu particu over here on the screen right so really beautiful plant i'm excited so without further ado further ado let's open this baby up and see what we're working with so i have this prepared let's do this are you ready? Bam. Oh. Okay. 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 Oh, oh. Okay. Yep, I can see the leaves already falling from touch. Yes, the bag itself has a lot of foliage in it, but that's okay. So this is what we are working with. Huh? Look at this. This is actually such a cool plant. Maybe it's a little bit overgrown and doesn't look that bonsai-ish and you know we'll work on it i will take care of this this is actually variegated bush here's a little close-up look at this thing oh my gosh right 
What a crazy wild looking plant. So it will be so much fun to work with it. I love to work with plants who are a little bit overgrown and it's so much fun to see the process when you cut those banks and later on it becomes so much bushier and happier and sexier. So today we're gonna work with this baby up. Probably there shouldn't be a word up in the sentence, but oh, what the heck. <laughs> so, so, so. First off, pr probably let's prepare the pot for it. Right now, I'm not sure about my choice of a pot because I took pretty big terracotta pot, but it seems like it doesn't have a huge root system. So, yeah, yeah, I took too large pot. Okay, give me one sec. All right, so I have a little bit smaller terracotta pot. I think this will work a little bit better. And especially since it's smaller, the plant itself will look a little bit more magnificent in the smaller pot. So, okay, I'm excited about this choice. I'm gonna plant it into a simple cacti soil mix. I'm so out of breath. Oh my gosh, I'm getting old. So this is simple cactus soil mix that I'm gonna use for this plant. Since it's a succulent and very close relative to crassula, I think it will be the happiest in simple cacti soil. So, all right, so I have prepared some of that soil. Let's put it inside of the pot. Okay. We have soil in this pot right now. Let's try to take it out of the pot and see what we are working with. Oh, it's gonna be messy. Okay. Okay. Actually, it's not too bad. I love that the root system in this plant looks healthy. The roots are white and beautiful. Not dry at all. So this indicates that this plant is really healthy and probably had a pretty happy home. So it's a little bit odd that somebody decided to throw it away. I actually can see the soil mix and it's the same as I am using it. So right now I'm gonna add the soil into the spot. We'll plant this plant and then we go ahead to the pruning part of this video, right? So right now I'm gonna take this one aside. Bim shabim. Actually, guys, thank you so much for all of the fairy garden ideas from my previous video. I had so much fun to go through them. I was so right that you came up with so many original ideas and I cannot wait to put them into reality. But right now, as you can tell, the destiny decided that instead of making a fairy garden, I need to work with this rescue plant, which is fine with me. I mean, this is a beautiful plant. I'm still not sure if my mom actually yeah that's kind of funny i'm not sure if my mom took it to myself or she, did she took it to herself but asked me to take care of it you know to pot it up and do all of the business so oh my gosh the leaves are falling like crazy i probably should stop touching it but how when are you reporting it oh my gosh so yeah <laughs> not sure if this plant is for me or for my mom but in any case this is a really beautiful plant. It seems like it's pretty old, at least five years, I think. So already a nice deal because in you know big box stores or house plant stores, more often than not, you are buying plants so much more younger, you know, and smaller. So this this that's why it's so much fun to take plants from other collectors because you can see how much love and time they had to put into this plant really really fun i think we are doing amazing i think later on i might add some beautiful gravel on top of this pot because it looks like a tree i think this specific plant even would look cool with a fairy garden you know like a huge tree in the middle of something this would be perfect in my opinion so maybe maybe after all it will be planted into something different not sure for now the plant is the plan is to put it into this pot so this was a perfect choice of a pot for this plant it's perfect size up for this and right now what i want to do i want to cut it a little bit to make it not that wild looking and if it ends up to be my plant i will be pruning it constantly and i'll try to work on it as a bonsai tree i think this will be so much fun so much fun right 
So actually those cuttings that I will cut off, I will try to propagate. It actually smells delicious. I am so curious to taste it. You have no idea, guys. <laughs> so there is no specific plan how I want to propagate it. I'm just cutting, you know, the longest branches off so it can work on, you know, not just going like with long branches everywhere around, but working on more small branches like so and to be honest maybe a couple years ago i would not be able to do it it looks it always looked so painful for me when people just started to cut off really nicely growing plant i would go insane <laughs> you know like harley g or plant me ashley those girls just love to cut their plants but i don't know i just never did and right now i understand how much it is better for plant itself since you know it will be bushier and looking so much healthier and not leaning towards anything so much so i'm in that propagation kick club as well right now and i'm happy about it <laughs> so i want to make all of the branches pretty much the same uh, size so they you know look a little bit better <laughs> actually I'll have so many cuttings of this <laughs> so if my mom will want this plant I'll say you can take the cuttings <laughs> and I'm keeping the big boy Bam. and maybe after cutting it immediately the plant itself won't be looking too fancy that's okay don't get upset give it some time the best thing to do with this kind of plants is just to give them time to be patient and you will see how much cooler it will look afterwards i actually want to go even smaller but also some of these branches have already been branching out and growing more branches so i guess i'll keep it in that length over here Bam. And since the branch itself won't have any uh, tip, it will start to branch out, you know, like there's no other choice for this plant, so. Okay, I have, I'll definitely have so many cuttings, oh my gosh. Bam. I think this might be it. Yeah, I think this will be it. This is how we are looking right now. It looks a little bit closer to the bonsai and I know I could go even shorter but I, I don't want what is this oh mealies oh no okay so I found a little spot of mealy bugs on this branch if you can see this little white spot so I need to treat that immediately Oh yes, yes, I see more mealies. Oh my lord. So this lady lied to my mom. She was throwing this plant away because of the mealies probably and not just because it was throwing way too many leaves and that's sad. That's sad when people are lying. I mean, just tell the truth. People still will try to save this plant in most cases and, you know, grow it, but anywho. So this is how the mother plant is looking. Cute. Cute. I want to keep it a little bit more away from my plants right now and yes as I just keep on looking more into this plant I see more and more mealies oh it's not a big deal mealies are pretty easy to take care of so I'm not that worried about it but still it sucks you know that people lie about it anyway here is I mean are here are all of the branches that I cut off so once again we'll check all of them and see if there are no mealy bugs and then propagate it so we just will put them into other pot filled with soil come you wanna say hello? Oh, good good boy good boy actually guys uh, here is a future Svetlana I just uh, you know was sitting in my room and thought oh I need to show you probably how I will just plant these cuttings up so I checked on them for the mealies and these ones seemed completely fine but they still will be in quarantine in my home but right now I will show you how I'll be planting it because I know for some of us it might be obvious but maybe some beginners will see it as a useful tip so I'll put my mic right now and show you what what the heck I'm gonna do 
I hope the sound quality of this is still good. So as you can tell, I have these cuttings that do not have too much branch without leaves and I do not want to plant this cutting with all of those leaves into the soil because since those leaves won't receive any sunlight they'll start to rot into the soil and together with the leaves the stem of the plant itself will start rotting and in that case your whole plant will be doomed and it will die. So what I want to do before planting I want to rip all of those bottom leaves on these cuttings and only then plant it into the soil right now in here i have a little baby as well on it i'm not sure i think i'll take it as well like so so right now it looks like a mini tree and this part will go straight into the soil it not only will make so much easier for you to plant this plant because if you will try to put all of those leaves it will be so difficult you know but also plant itself will be more stable and will have a bigger rate of success. So this is exactly what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with all of these cuttings. And then bam, put them straight into the soil. And easy as that you'll have new plant coming out of it. Actually, I'm not hundred percent sure, but I pretty sure that you still can propagate those leaves as well and maybe have more plants too but it's not 100% so take this advice with a grain of salt oh my gosh i love the saying with a grain of salt so interesting you english people english speaking people have so many cool sayings i just always get so surprised by you know random stuff like this take this advice with a grain of salt okay <laughs> do you have ketchup or something <laughs> But anywho, okay, so future Svetlana right now will go do her business. So this is just a little tip. As you can tell, I'm doing the same thing for all of these cuttings and just putting them straight into the soil. And that's how the new plant will come to life. And obviously, I will give you updates on how everything is doing. I think maybe after a month or if it will take quicker or more time, whenever I see any kind of difference on these plants, I will share it with you. So right now let's get back to the past Svetlana that is still repotting or pruning right now. I think pruning maybe this plant. See ya! <laughs> So this will be it for today's rescue story. I know it's a pretty simple video, but at the same time, I had a lot of fun. I love pruning plants right now and cannot wait to see an upgrade and obviously update you how it is going. Let me know if you have this plant in your collection and if you do maybe have any tips or tricks you want to share with us. Maybe other people will see your suggestions and work with them as well in their collection. But all in all, this will be it for today's video. So thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like this video and subscribe to support me. And before leaving you, let me teach you another language lesson. So since it's called elephant bush, let me teach you how to say elephant in Russian and in Lithuanian. So if you want to say elephant in Lithuanian, you need to say drumblis. Once again, drumblis. And if you want to say elephant in Russian, you need to say slon. Once again, slon. So as you can tell, very different words this time, right? But anywho, thank you so much for watching. If you watch this video till the very end, leave an elephant emoji. I will know that you are the true one. I will know that you watch till the very end. And hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye.